Firebase is a set of tools to build, release, monitor, and engage apps. The tools it gives to us cover a large portion of the services that developers would normally have to build ourselves, but we don't really want to, because we would rather be focusing on the app experience itself. This includes things like databases, authentication, analytics, push notifications, and so on. The services are hosted in the cloud and scale with little to no effort on the part of the developer. In this video, we are going to create a Firebase project and as we are building the recovery password and login part of our apps, we are going to also add to this project the authentication tool that Firebase environment gives us. In order to create a new Firebase project, I go to the console of the Firebase and click on the Create a Project button. There are three steps I need to follow in order to create a project. The first one is to give this Firebase project a name. I will insert the name of one of the projects we are developing here in the channel, which is my new startup for recycling called Recyclica. We are developing this startup using the Ionic framework, but we can do exactly the same steps in order to create a Firebase project to the other app we are developing in this channel, but using React Native, the delivery app. Both the Ionic framework and React Native have specific libraries we can use to get access to our Firebase project, so don't worry about that. Let's continue. The second step asks me if I want to enable Google Analytics to this Firebase project. As you're not dealing with analytics right now, I'll just disable this option for simplicity. Don't worry because you can enable it later. So now let's create the project. After some seconds, our Firebase project is created and we can continue. We are building in our apps the recovery password and logging parts, so what I need to add now to our Firebase project is the authentication tool they offer, which is right here under Authentication. But notice that we have several other tools besides the authentication, like the Firestore database, which we will use in the future to handle the data of our apps, the real-time database, which we use in the delivery app to manage the location of the delivery person on real-time, the storage, which we also use on the delivery app project to save files, images, and so on. The hosting tool, which we use on both of our recycling and delivery projects to host our apps on a website. The functions tool, which we will use to create the backend for both of our apps. And the machine learning tool, which I never used and I actually don't think we use on these projects. Well, maybe we will, who knows. So let's add the authentication. To do this, I click on the Get Started button. Then Firebase gives me a lot of signing methods on how the user can do the authentication, like the normal email password, phone, Google, Facebook, and so on. Let's just select the normal email password authentication and enable it. I'll not enable this passwordless signing for now. So I'll click on Save it, and that was it. Now our Firebase project has the authentication tool enabled for it. If we go to the Users tab, we can see that currently our app has no users. Of course it doesn't, because we just created the project and on the Hesiclica app we didn't implement the registration functionality. So let me just add a new user to our authentication on Firebase. So we have this user to test on our app the recovery password and the login functionalities in the near future. I'll set my email and the password will be well, I'll just put my real password for everything, 123456. I'll click on the Add User button and then our user is created. It was created today and the ID of this user is this one right here. So we already have one user that can be used for the authentication in our app. Now let's go to the Templates tab. Here I can manage the template messages that are going to be sent to the user in case we do an email address verification, password recovery, an email address change, and also the SMS verification. Let's keep them like this. And finally, we have the Usage tab. This tab informs us of the usage of the phone verification messages for the authentication tool of Firebase in our apps. We have to pay Google some little amount of money every time we do an SMS verification. The good news if we go to the pricing is that we have 10,000 verifications for free per month and in case we pass that limit we pay only 1 cent of American dollars per verification in the US, Canada and India 
and only six cents of American dollars per verification in other countries in the world. Well, 10,000 verifications per month is already a lot, so if we need to pay for this service, it means that the app is a hit. Now, as I'm building two apps, one with the Ionic framework and another one with the React Native, I'll do the same steps I did here for the recycling app, but in this case, I'll do it for the delivery app, so I'll have two Firebase projects. I will just not show it in this video because those steps are exactly the same, just changing the name of the project. In the next videos, we are going to add the Firebase specific library into both our projects, get access to the authentication tool and actually do the password recovery and the user login on them. So subscribe to the channel in case you want to follow the development of those two real apps, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, share the video with your dev friends and see you on the next video.